Hello everyone and welcome back. In this part we're going to put physics on his hair quills. So uh, without further ado let me turn on my screencast keys and let's get started. So this is what you want to do. Go online. Uh, the internet has not been working for me but if it'll connect it won't. Basically, go online, download the Spring Bones add-on. Not Wiggle Bones, download Spring Bones. Uh, go to Google, it's on GitHub, you can get it for free. Once you download it, uh, the process of installing it is as follows. You want to go to your file folder here. Uh, you want to go to your downloads. And you want to get your Spring Bones unzip it or extract it I extracted it here to my downloads uh, and then I uh, cut it and I move the folder to blender foundation the current version of blender I'm using scripts add-ons and I just pasted it in here as you can see spring bones master once you've done that uh, go to edit preferences if you type in spring bones it might not show up so what you want to do is you want to click install navigate to where you put it so program files blender foundation spring bones and then double click the python and it'll and it'll install the python script once you have that, make sure you click on Spring Bones. Check it. Save it. Now, this add-on is so cool, guys. Okay? What you want to do is you want to go to your bone settings here. Scroll all the way down. You should have this new uh, section here called Spring Bones. Okay? You can actually close, close out all the rest of this crap because we're not even gonna look at it and we can actually bring our spring bones all the way to the top and just we'll focus on that so what we want to do is for this bone we want to check spring and we want to check rotation and when we start interactive mode basically we can move any bone and you see here it's it's acting like uh, like a spring like it has some jiggle to it okay it's literally that easy it's that easy so let's stop right let's go here to this bone spring and then you want to add on uh, enable rotation right now when we start the interactive mode grab here Look at that. Look at that. So basically, we're adding physics directly to the bones without uh, calculating physics for the, uh, the mesh itself, which is way better on your machine, especially when you're making tutorials. <laughs> so let's stop interactive mode okay so basically uh, and then let's go through these settings here right so bouncy the the less bounciness you have uh, I'm just gonna let you guess what will happen <laughs> uh, the less bouncy of course your rig will be you see the first part of it isn't bouncing as much as the second part so I'm actually going to turn the bounciness to point, point like two. And I'm going to turn this one to point one five. And I'm going to turn the speed down maybe like 0.5 and then start again 
What we see. do here is go back, 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 back. All right, so you can get some interesting results here. So let's see here. I don't, I don't necessarily want it to not move that much. <laughs> so let's uh, stop the thing. Let's turn this bouncy to point four. And let's turn this to point three. And click start. So you just, you know, you play around with the parameters that you want. That's it. That's how you <laughs> add physics to Sonic Quills. So I'm basically going to go through and uh, do all of that for all of them and uh, change the settings. Uh, I'll I'll pause. I'll be sure to pause so that you all can follow along. Um, Blender is freaking out on me. Oh, it's back. Okay. So, yeah. So I'm going to stop this so that Blender stops freaking out on me. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So I'll be back once I have put physics on all of the bones. Be sure to copy and paste the values from each bone. Uh, it's a tedious process, but worth it when you're attempting to get similar results for every bone.
make sure that the first bone in the chain is 0.7 as far as the influence is concerned. Make sure that the other bones here have an influence of 